All right, folks. Let's see if we got that position just about right. There we go. That's pretty close. All right. I got an idea for a fly that I've had in my head for a little while. Oh man, figures the hooks I want are underneath my tripod. Oh, shake it around a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, this will be a quick tie because it's only a few components on a What is that? 9214 size 12 from Green Caddis Outfitters. It's just a plain old hook. Nothing special. It is already barbless, which I really appreciate. It's so much easier on the fish. All right, we're gonna use what I got left in this green colored thread. I'm hoping there's enough. If we do it right, there will be. All right, I'm gonna make this a little shorty fly, and the difference is gonna be where I position the deer hair. That makes a pretty good tail right on its own. We're gonna leave that as a tail. Oh, good night, dog. Getting close to the door. Okay. I'm going to leave that as the tail. I'm going to tie in a length of turkey feather at the back. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this the tail. Right alongside that piece of thread. Alright, I'm going to roll this up. back tie it in run it forward just a little bit to right about there go ahead and palm the back of this thing whatever you call this technique I don't know uh -oh. I'm losing my grip I'm losing my grip Alright, we're going to take the rat, try to capture that little loose one, there we go. Alright, and I'm going to put a little bit of dubbing on this. I've got just a little bit, no, the cat's back in here. Got to close both doors. the Pizia Resistance or whatever you call that all right I'm taking deer hair and I'm gonna purposely tie it right on the front and we're gonna spin it just like this all right, that looks good vast majority stay up on top now we're going to make a little bit of a head force that back all right and i got just enough thread i'm going to leave it whoa get out of there Alright, there we go. 
maybe put a little teeny tiny drop of super glue on that head on that thread so it doesn't come undone Ooh, there's a nice little bubble boy oh, don't get this stuff in the eyes don't get it in the hook eye because you won't be able to get your string through there all right I'm gonna leave it full and sweeping back like this I might even leave that on there I can always pull it off later and I can trim it back later all right let's go down to the pond and see if this doesn't work pretty good what do you think I'm thinking that's going to work, but I think I'll take my little scissors with me so I can trim it on the fly. Cat, why don't you ever run? <laughs> that cat ain't afraid of no dog. He never runs. Just sit there and get mauled by him and he won't run. Alright, here we go. Let me get my fly rod and then we'll go on down to the pond. Got my sweetheart rod and a few extra flies, just in case this one doesn't work. That's a cat for you. He says, that's far enough. Look these two. two. Kitty cat, you must smell something. His tail's puffed up. Yeah, he smells something. <laughs> Not all dusty. <laughs> yeah, that cat smells something. His, his tail's all puffed up. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a coyote or something. That cat's doing the same thing. They smell something. See how he's getting all sneaky? Well, the wind's blowing right straight down the road. Coming out of the northeast. We'll see what that does to the fishing. Get my exercise today. Not that I need a lot of exercise. I walk around the building a hundred freaking times. I should have a pedometer on me. See how many steps I take. All right, well, we're gonna put that wind to use. Get it quartering to it and get it behind us. So I'll work this side of the pond. It's a little bit cooler. This is a cool front blowing in again. Let's see if they like my fly. Put my new fly on and start fishing it. See what kind of action we get. Oh, there's a fishy in the shallow water. All right, let me get rigged up. That's the one I used last time with the sweetheart rod. That worked. I caught some fish. Oh my God, this thing feels funny. <laughs> keep going between rods and this thing feels a lot like a broomstick <laughs> there's not much flex in it even though it is fiberglass there is not much flex in this rod I bet this in a four weight is a sweet combination boom whoa look out <laughs> I launched him <laughs> I think I even disconnected him I did <laughs> you like that man caught that fish <laughs> lost him through he disconnected he came unhooked and he ended up in that pool <laughs> ah, that's a way to start the day isn't it right, let's try to get something a little bigger so i'm gonna launch him <laughs> i don't normally set that hook so violently but <laughs> matter of fact i usually strip set Get this weed off of here and the weed off of here. There we go. All right, we're looking good now. This fly is way fluffy. All right, come on, do it again, fishy, fishy. Boy, that didn't take long. I had to wait long for that action, huh? All right, here we go. Come on, let's do it again. I don't think this is actually five weight line. It's not really heavy enough for this rod. 
but as long as I got the wind behind me, it don't matter. I don't see any bugs yet. Maybe there's something way over here. Boom, there we go. Oh, there he is. Didn't hang on, he's too little. Probably. That cat. What are you doing, cat? You're acting funny. What's that in front of him? The other cat just laid down over there. <laughs> Looks like a. Ooh! <laughs> Better watch what I'm doing. Fish are biting. <laughs> Tied one looks like that. That's <laughs> what it looks like in the water. <laughs> Pretty cool. Gizmo. You on the prowl, kitty kitty. You on the prowl. <laughs> there we go. Had one suck it in. Now he's down in the weeds. Well, that's big, decent sunfish, I think. Pulling hard. Of course, hard, part of that's hard to tell when you're stuck in the weeds. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Covered in weeds. That is a nice one. Not a lot of surface activity, so this is this is very good. This is really good. That may be why it's working, because there's not a lot of bugs on the surface already. Boom. You have to be kind of patient with these. They don't like bass. You know, bass more times than not will, will just attack something as soon as it hits the water. Sometimes even before flying through there and they try to get it. But some fish they'll often they'll sit there and look at it and then just ease up on it. Come right up underneath it. Got an audience. <laughs> Somewhat disinterested audience. I had a nice sized bass swim off with the fly. I didn't even realize it. And when I pulled it, it came out of his mouth. That was a nice sized bass. For this pond, anyway. There you go. Another sunfish, probably a green sunfish, maybe. Or another bluegill right by the dock. No lucky. Don't. 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 A dog would love to eat this fish. Nope. You don't understand no, do you? <laughs> Look at that. You ever seen a dog more focused? <laughs> Poor fish. Don't worry. I just want to see you. And then take your picture. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. I bet there's another one right by the pond, right by the dock. Put it out there and let it sink a little bit, let it sit a little while. Have to watch your line because you're certainly not going to see the fish. There we go, there's another fish. Getting bigger as I pull him in. Oh, he's just a decent one. He's a decent fish. 
Oh, early release. On patrol or parole, but an early release program. All right, here we go. Let's get back out there. I bet there's another one. Still not seeing any bugs. Getting real close to that magic time. It is cooler. It, it's probably about 70. Maybe a little cooler. Feels great. It feels very nice. If you can see that or not, but there's probably 10, 12, 13, 14 bluegill <laughs> sucking in my fly but not taking it. <laughs> wow. Easy funny. I need to get a underwater camera so you can see those fish. I mean, there's a lot of sunfish around this dock. That's good to know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go fish the rest of the pond, but I can always cast back to this thing. They seem to like it when it first hits the water. If you can get more than a couple of them to take a run at it, you'll get one of them. That competition thing kicks in. All right, well, let's, let's walk the rest of the shore around the way. I bet Don's dragon would, I bet they take that without hesitation. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a disturbance on the water. Look like a group of fish. A whole school of them. Hmm. All right. Let's give this fly a haircut. Just to see if something with a little less uh, profile on the water might get a little less scrutiny and a little more taste testing. Pull this in real quick. I got my scissors. And it's a fairly good sized fly right now. Especially with the weed and stuff on it. All right. It does look pretty good. Let me trim it up a little and see if I can't get these fish to pick it up better. Come on, focus on the fly. Come on. There we go. I trimmed the big deer hair out, left the pointed pieces, so now I got pretty good profile on that fly. Let's see if they like it better. That's enough. That's enough. Mess up a cast. Didn't keep it up out of the dirt behind me. I did pretty well. That was quite a few fish. And a couple of really nice ones. There we go. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, kitties. Let's go. Well, back to the house. And probably back to work. Lovely. Oh, so lovely. If I had blazing fast internet out here, I could probably do some things remotely, but there ain't no telling. There ain't no telling. Come on, kitties. We're hustling now. See the white cat. Can't see the black. Okay, boys. Come on, kitty kitties. I don't know. Those boys get along pretty well most of the time. They're all neutered males. Ah, Jesus. Come on, cats. Snaky snakes are coming out. And a big, well, decent size four foot, five foot long rat snake that got run over on the cattle guard. 
right in front of the cattle guard and I didn't do it. Must have been an oil truck. Melissa didn't say anything, so I don't think she ran it over. Couldn't hardly miss it. It was big. A white gravel road. I hate to see the rat snakes get hurt. They're good. They're good to have around. They keep the vermin down just like the kitty cats do. I want to tell you about snakes. And that's a copperhead. It's a copperhead. Well, we'll give him a wide berth because I don't have anything to cut his head off with. I might have to go back and get a shovel, but he probably won't stay in that road very long. All right, well, he didn't bite me. That's good. I could step on his head, but you know, that's kind of risky. Let's go get a shovel or the truck. And just run him over. That dog didn't even see it. Didn't even care. I I think he's got a good sense about him. I don't know. He's still sitting there. He might stay on that road. It's probably a little warmer than the grass.